What is up and welcome to your ninth WX Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about submenus and toolbar um, additions basically. And if you don't know what a submenu is, it's kind of like when you go to like file, open, recent or something like that and then it like lists out some stuff. That's kind of what a submenu is. If you still don't know what a submenu is, well then just follow along and you're going to learn what a submenu is. So, um, we're going to put this uh, right above um, exit item and below this uh, edit button and basically um, here we're going to define the button so we'll say it's an import item is uh, the item equals WX and it's a menu item then we're going to say import item dot append so we're going to append to this, and it, its ID will just be like any, so it's just a random button. And then the title, or what we want this button to say, we'll say import uh, document. Right. And just for the sake of it, let's add a couple more so it's clearly a list. And then here we'll just say picture, and then here we'll say video. Next, what we're going to want to do is append this to our file button. So we want to be able to go file import, right? So the next thing we want to do is file button dot append menu. And we're again it's WX and we'll just do ID any and then what's the title of the like that sub menu that we want it to be and that's gonna be import and then what is the actual button itself that's import item close off the parentheses there and that should be it we'll uh, save it we'll run it go through our uh, three things here and here is our window. Welcome, Harrison. Some awesome text that we've made. Man, we are making a balling program. So now when you go to File, uh, we've got Quit, and now we've also got Import, and then we've got other things that we can do, like we can import a document, a picture, or a video. Now, it's just a button. It won't do anything if you click it. We'll click it. It's not going to do anything. It might even error for us in a little bit. And uh, so it... Um, it's not doing anything yet, but you can start to do uh, event handlers just like we do when we quit. So um, that's a sub menu, and the next thing that we're going to cover is uh, just briefly the toolbar. Um, so to do that, <clears throat> we'll come below here and we'll define our toolbar, and the toolbar is going to be self dot create toolbar. Now create toolbar is a WX Python. Um, built-in function. So now we're going to do, uh, let's add a, a quit button to the toolbar. So we'll add a quit tool button equals uh, toolbar dot add label tool. And in here it's going to just be WX, we'll just do ID any. And the name of this will be quit and and that's really just um, that'll appear on your status bar if you have it and then wx dot bitmap and now we just need a bitmap image and since we're running out of space let's just continue down here wx dot bitmap and we'll do uh, toolquit dot png close close and then you'll have to do, uh, hold on, let me pull up one more here. You'll need to do toolbar dot realize. Again, realize is a WX Python function. Then um, all that's going to do is put the toolbar there, right, or the, the, the image of it there. So here is my quit button that I made. Now it's there, but it doesn't do anything. We can quit the, or click the heck out of it and nothing happens. So now we need to make it do what our other quit button does. So to do that, we need to do self.bind 
And to that, we're going to bind a WX event tool. That's going to do self.quit. Now, quit is not built in. I'll show you that in just a second. And then we're going to apply this to quit tool button, which we uh, made up here. Now, self.quit does, oh man, it's way down here, this, right? It's going to do this quit function. So, like, later on when you do, like, an import, if you wanted to, you could define, oops, you could define import stuff. And then you can start, you know, put your parameters. And then you start defining what happens when someone clicks it. So just like you can define this quit function, same thing, like what to do um, when you go to import. So now when we save this, we'll run this. Uh, and here's our window. You hit quit, and it quits. So pretty basic stuff. Um, I'm just going to show you adding one more um, item to the toolbar since uh, it kind of helps to see like because that's you're gonna have multiple things so at least for me it helps me learn when like if I learn to apply like many times and stuff and see like what okay if you want two of these what needs to change because you don't need to realize the toolbar twice you don't have to create the toolbar twice etc so anyway next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do an import tool button and that's gonna equal a uh, toolbar and I bet you can guess what's coming next yep add label add label tool and I bet you can guess what's coming first in the parameters yeah ID any and this we're gonna call import and we'll come down here for some more params uh, and this is can you guess it bitmap but I bet you can't guess the uh, file name because you don't know it I hope I hope nobody can guess it actually it's not too bad to guess import.png save it run it and we'll just run through this and wow look at these awesome buttons by the way you can hire me for graphic design I charge about two hundred dollars an hour but you can get really high quality buttons from me so just let me know and uh, so now that we've got um, we got quit you can quit here and you can import here but like for quick stuff that you want to be able to do like quit and then you can also do some imports but again we have no handler for the import like right now it's just a button you click it and nothing happens uh, whereas in the future you'll want to say like self.import and then you'll have an import function and it's going to do all this cool stuff. But for now it's just a little button there and I'm just showing you guys how to use it. And just like everything else like you can resize it and stuff. So um, anyway, hopefully uh, you guys have been, been enjoying these tutorials. As always, thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing.